I'm meteorologist Tim Schmidt with your forecast as we get into your Thursday night and another round of severe weather is expected. Damaging winds of 70 to 80 miles per hour through the nighttime hours will be our primary hazard tonight. We could also see a couple of short lived tornadoes on the leading edge of the line of storms overnight. Hail looks to be a lesser factor tonight. I think this is primarily a wind event for us, but we could also see some heavy rainfall throughout the night leading to some aerials uh, areas, I should say of uh, flash flooding. All right, so after about about eight to nine o'clock, we're starting to see those storms roll in again up until nine or 10 o'clock. We're dry for the viewing area, but right around midnight is when those storms will start to move in out from our west, impacting Norfolk, Columbus and York, and then getting into Omaha closer to the one and two o'clock hours. Those storms will then start to move into eat wind to western Iowa between two and three a.m. in the morning, and then by the time we're into the morning commute for Friday, Looks mostly dry, but just watch out for some ponding on the roadways and any flooded up roads. Again, we could see another half of an inch to an inch and a half of rain on average and already some of those communities that dealt with some of the flash flooding earlier this week. Now all that rain gets out of here pretty quick into the morning on Friday and we're left with some sunshine on Friday afternoon to help dry things out. But we have more chances for showers and storms over this upcoming weekend, both on Saturday and on Sunday. Right now, Monday for Memorial Day itself is trending a little bit drier. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 70s with some humidity over the next few days does look cool.